What's up guys, it's the Apex Hound and welcome to Kona. So this is a survival kind of, you know, mystery, detective, linear story game. I don't know what kind of genre it's in, but you know, it looks really cool. I thought I'd check it out. Doing a Mass Effect Andromeda playthrough at the moment as well, if you want to check that out. One thing before we start, I will be giving away a copy of the game, uh, Kona. If you want to enter, all you have to do is follow my Instagram. Link is in the description. Literally just follow it and comment your name. Comment your Instagram name down below. I'm trying to get more into Instagram. You know, I want to I wanna start posting more. I don't really post that much, but, you know, uh, follow me on Twitter as well if you'd like. You don't have to. That's not part of the giveaway. But, you know, uh, if you want. And, uh, yeah, let's jump into Kona right now and uh, see what it's like. Drop a like if you want to see more. If this hits like 50 likes, we might hit this into a full series and go onwards from there. So yeah, I'd appreciate your support. Uh, subscribe if you're not already, if you enjoy the content, and let's jump in. Boom! First time I've done face cam in a while. It feels kind of fucking weird, actually. But uh, I thought I'd do it because it's kind of like, you know, one of those games that face cam is pretty cool for, I think. Um, yeah, subtitles are already enabled. Cool. Let's jump in, then. Okay, this is weird. Oh no, this is just a save file. I thought it was chapters. I'm dumb as hell. <laughs> right, I'm actually excited to play this though. Uh, Maximus Primus has been talking it up. Last time he talked up one of these indie games as well, Night in the Woods. It done really well on my channel and I quite enjoyed it. So hopefully he's uh, the bearer of good luck for me. And we're going to jump in and see what it's like. I'm hoping it's good though, because it does look cool. It has a cool concept. And uh, here we go. Oh, shit. Better gra Ma I can't speak. Better graphics than Mass Effect Andromeda in uh, 1970 here, boys. Carl Fulbert sought information for a living. That is to say that ever since he returned from Korea, after having served with the armed forces, he had been working as a private investigator in Montreal. William Hamilton, so we're a, PI. a rich industrialist, had gotten in touch with him regarding a simple vandalism issue. Nothing to write home about. Not worth hiring a private eye either, just so he can drive for hours on rough roads. But that's how it had always been. The client pays, Carl gets it done. Oh, so we're actually driving here. Dope. But uh, it kind of gives me a little bit of the vibes of the vanishing of Ethan Carter. If any of you guys had set up to meet at the general, watch that on my channel. His client's business. Or played it. Well, actually, the entire village had William Hamilton's name written all over it. Ooh, pulling a handbrake here. Hell yeah. I'm driving pretty recklessly here, I just don't give a fuck. The driving's actually pretty good, I was just testing out how the when brakes were were bad, muddy, or snowed in, it was customary around these parts to close them off. But it was also customary to ignore those signs entirely and drive there anyway. The rest stop. Okay. Definitely gonna go up to this tower first and scope the place out. That's really weird, there's like fucking... Okay, that's creepy as fuck. That's really, really creepy. But, uh, kind of get the Firewatch vibes from the environments, too, a little bit. Uh, if it's as good as either of those games, The Vanishing of Ethan Carter or Firewatch, I'd be super psyched up, because I liked both of them. We can open this? Oh, we got some stuff. I knew there was going to be something up here. We got a fire starter. The sensitivity's just damn way too high, guys. Okay, that's a lot better. A lot better. Let me jump. No, X is to sprint. Okay, let's check what we got here. We got equipment. We got a, a camera, a map, a journal, and a flashlight. Okay. The map. Let's bring that up and uh, see where we are exactly. Doesn't say where we are, does it? The rest stop is where we are, so. We gotta look out for that. Oh, no. Here we are. Yeah. We gotta go through here, up there. And we're going to Hamilton, I think he said, so that's way up there. I like the way they're kind of actually having us travel this. Not really holding our hands either. They're just like, get out of the car. They don't tell us what to do. Just, you know what? We probably have to just bring this up. Uh, open sesame. What's in here? A flyer. It will be good. At the heart of the wilderness, the north is swarming with wolves. Caribou, oh, I don't even know what that, caribous is it? I, I think I know what those animals are. Bears, partridges, foxes, snowy owls, and hordes of other majestic creatures that are every bit equals of Africa's wildlife. We are the Africa of America. 
Come discover the north and experience white jungle. Genuine white jungle. That's racist. And also, there's going to be fucking bears around here, guys. Are you kidding me? There's a phone here. Can I use this? I can't use the phone. Okay, I definitely can't use the phone. Like, there's no prompt to use that whatsoever. Guess we just have to open the gate, then. What was it that we got again? We got something here uh, in our inventory. We got matches. We got a fire starter. That was it. A pincer. That was the other thing. And Polaroid film. So, can we take a camera, uh, picture here? How do we take a, a picture? The Polaroid, Carl's long-standing and faithful ally, had seen a share of husbands caught red-handed cheating. There's always something out there waiting to be snapped away. Well, why not? Just take a picture. That's what. It, that's cool, dude. Polaroid comes out straight away. I don't want to throw it away. I want to keep it. Why would I throw that away? I wanted to keep that shit. Okay, let's just go check the gates. Uh, Lake... Uh, no, Lac Atemepic. What the fuck is Carl that? Carl was meeting his client in a store near this area. Okay. He was on the right track. Ah, see, we can break it with the pincer thing. Cool. Hamilton never mentioned a road-blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. True. Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. Okay, we're getting to the general store. That's just up ahead. To get down to business. That's actually just up ahead. I saw that on the map. William Hamilton enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forests. Not too far from here. The local populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others, an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortunes. And those ones hated him enough to go on about scheming against him. Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses, but the last straw was the reopening of a mine, which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must I just wanted to check the map real quick. Really compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. Where are we? So far, only the industrialist's house had been attacked. Ah, the general store is way enough, up here. Carl Still good, good while up. Target would become the man himself. I wonder will there be more obstacles before we get to the general store? Or would we just free drive in there? I think we can get out wherever we want. I'm not sure though. Maybe not. Oh! Jesus Christ, that came out of nowhere like Randy fucking Orton, dude. That's what you get for driving on these country roads, I guess. That's not good. A few hours later. This game sh shit's hitting the fan early. Car crash. Not good. Carl needed to get out of there. The cold and the pain required urgent care. Wait, a couple hours later? This dude's just been knocked out in his car for a couple hours, and the other person is too, I guess? And somehow it's just become this snowy mess since we got knocked out. And this is where the survival instincts come in. The survival parts of the game, this is gonna be crazy. We gotta go check on the other guy first. Are you gonna be dead? He's not there. The driver had taken off. It was still best to check it out and leave nothing to chance. Carl needed help. No shit we need help. What was that? Oh. Huh? It was a small locked box engraved with the letters WH. Carl thought about taking it. Nothing was to be left to chance. What's that? Isabel photo? Huh. What are you doing? Why does he keep taking out the camera, you douche? Okay, let's check our inventory. Complaining was not in I want to see what that is. That's a picture. Uh, no, it's not here, is it? Our equipment, maybe? No. Journal? Carl's nature. It would take more than light injuries to interrupt his investigation. Oh, here it is. A lockbox. Would it be wrong to look inside? Surely I would find some clue as to who that reckless driver was. I'd still need to find the key, though. Okay, where's the key then? Maybe in the trunk? 
Carl wondered how long he would have to endure this skin stinging cold. How do I use it? Oh, that's the Isabel photo, okay. This deep in the country, his last hope was to find an abandoned garage or a farm by the roadside. Okay, let's check our map real quick. His life depended on it. Where are we? Dude, we're so far away from the general store. It's crazy. But uh, how do we use this goddamn first aid kit? I want to know. Consumable, probably. Yes, first aid kit. There you go. Can we get back in our car and drive, maybe? Dude, I just... The cold was burning Carl. He would not hold up much. I just used a consumable, don't I? Cigarette, maybe? Longer. He had to warm himself. Carl, like many of his contemporaries, felt like he had more trouble breathing when he wasn't smoking. Wait, I wonder if we can do start a fire here, right? Where do we go from here? Let's go down to this... Oh, yeah. There's a tower up here. Let's get to that quickly. Oh, yes. There's a... There's a house right here. That could be even better. Heat sources prevent Carol from freezing to death and save the game. Good shit. Well, this should be a heat surface. Even oh, better chains? than he had hoped, Carl Faubert had succeeded once more and was now on his way to new adventures. Wait, how did we succeed here, guys? I don't see any, like, thing that can start a fire. Oh, here we go. I see. Oh, we need wood. Sorry. It was telling us we need one extra thing there. We need wood. There's wood right outside, though, I think, right? Yes, here we go. There you go. We got a log. So now we can start the fire. Let's close this door, possibly. There you go. Pick up this lantern. We don't need that lantern right now, do we? Now we can start the fire. Beautiful. Hell yeah. The fire is going. That should save the game. That will heat us up quite nicely for our next adventure here to get going and get to the general store where our friend can save us hopefully but i guarantee you he won't be there they were full on heat now perfect i don't need this on either. carl ever diligent in his work always carried his log on him yeah in which he scribbled down thoughts and leads alike during the course of his investigations the crash one out of two uh, who was the driver in the other car? Whoever it was, they don't have a snowball's chance in hell if they intended to continue on foot. Besides, why'd they leave so suddenly? Yeah, that is a, a weird one, actually. I'll put this away. Is that a first aid kit? How come I can't use it? Can't use anything in this damn place. So now we've saved it. What are we doing next? Let's find out. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, please open. Thank you. We'll take another log if we can. And uh, we'll go up to this tower, see what's good in the tower, if anything at all. Hopefully we find something like we did at the other one. That'll help us. Uh, maybe a... Oh, uh, there's nothing up here, damn it. Absolutely nothing. Maybe a view. Okay, so if there's nothing up here, then where are we going next? Are we going straight to the general store? Because he did say we were rested up. Maybe we can get back in the car and... Uh, be on our way now. Hopefully. If the car still works. Which I'm doubting somehow. Okay. Let's check. Oh, we put the chains under the wheels. Good shit. And then... That'll give us enough traction to reverse the car. Ah. Perfection. Nice, nice, nice. And we're good to get to the general store now. Hell yes. Okay, that was a quick pit stop. No problem. We crashed. It's all good. <laughs> now the question is... Wait, was that a car back there? No. I'm tripping balls, guys. That crash hit me hard. I can't see shit either. Jesus Christ. It literally... This is such a bad storm. Here we go, here we go. What's this? Maniston region. Spread out on a few acres okay. of untouched forest, bellowing caribou, everlasting snow, caribou, and see? undefiled lakes. I knew it. The Manistan region was no tourist hub. 
It was said to have been populated for millennia by Cree people, and ever since the industrial era, by the metal mining industry. Okay. The truck was running on fumes. Good thing that the general store was close by. True. What's going on here? Guys? Oh. Okay. Here we are. There's no one here, is there? I just guarantee there's no one here. Rendezvous. Hell yeah. The general store. Sorry about that. Uh, I just had to check if it was my proper microphone recording because I thought I had a thought I had the wrong one. But we're fine. We're gonna get in here and rendezvous with our client. If he's actually here, we can only hope things aren't looking very good. That's for sure. Uh, but what the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, hello. Carl had no trouble recognizing his employer. He's dead. He had been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. But only a detective could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close. That the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. Obviously we're going to keep that. We're a photographer. Carl felt a chill down his spine and had a terrifying realization. If Hamilton was dead, then who was going to pay him? <laughs> I'm sure that shouldn't be his worries right what now. What could be inside that envelope? Carl was taken aback. He knew this address. It was said to be the address of the P.O. box for the Canadian Secret Service. Really? Pretty fucking creepy, man. So wait a second. Could it be the same guy that crashed into us that killed this guy? Like, that'd be... That'd be logical. I wonder is the guy still even in here? Because he said it was going to be close. We'll take all of these. Fire starters. Brochure. Okay, I guess we should probably call the cops first things first. To open the cash register, punch the price. Two numbers minimum. Press sail. Turn the crank two times. Punch the machine if it doesn't work. Punch the price. Two numbers minimum. Press sail. Turn the crank two times. Okay. It's just any price, I guess. Uh, we should probably call the cops, though. Why would we want to open the cash register? What the fuck just An happened? explosion suddenly occurred outside. What the fuck, dude? You know what, Hamilton? Knew that Gilles Lachance was in charge of the general store. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A very angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. I have a frog in my throat, and when people have a frog in their throat, they do not take risks by going to work. Customers could catch it, right? I'm a wise man. Not to worry, I'll have a nice doctor's note, which I'm going to get right now. Sadly, in the meantime, I'll have to close down the shop unless you would like to come in. Come fill in for me. I wouldn't dare advise you. After all, you must know how it's done since it's yours now. With kind regards, your dedicated ma manager, Jilly, says it. Okay, I guess we should pick up the phone. It's not working. The snowstorm pummeled everything in its path. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, first aid. First aid kit. Alright, do we wanna punch in a sail? And then where's the crank? Oh, sail. We got a key. A post key. I wanna take the money too, though. Alright, where'd that key? What that key open? We got a garage key, notepad. Uh, According to that log, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Carl was far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on, though. Hmm. Hmm. 
Customer credit. Tape. Duct tape matches. Got a lot of stuff from the shop. We need the light though. Okay. What the fuck is this place, man? Oh shit, it's wolves. Maintaining That's his cool as fuck. Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait, was it about bears? Right, where's the fucking garage here? Inspect the note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Okay, so we have to turn off one. Where's the garage? Let's go out to the garage. So does that mean that fool switched the power to the garage? We can light a fire there. Oh wait, do we want to light a fire here now actually? Because uh, that will save the game after all. It did save it. Okay, how do we get into the garage? Here we go. We got the key, so... Hello? I'm getting ghost bombs right now. I have a feeling there's someone in here. But I don't think there is. We're good. That's a knife, is it? No. Hardware. Pliers. We can maybe fix this car up. That could be a thing. Wait, here's something. Staring intently at the controls won't be enough to make that lift budge. The poor thing was out of power. But I thought I turned the power off in the mains. I guess the power for everything is gone now, is it? And where's this? Okay. Gotta find a way to get the power back to the lift. Go there. What is this? Carl was used to strange phenomena. But a chunk of ice like this? As if an iceberg came out of the ground? That was a first. That is pretty fucking weird, actually. Oh, the wolf tracks go over here. It says the wolves stay away from populated areas. Should we follow them? Carl felt that the store and its surroundings still held their secrets, and he didn't like to miss out. Okay, let's follow the wolf tracks then, I guess. We're following the icebergs. What the fuck? Carl wondered what the hell could that thing be? It looked like a man fossilized in ice. All of a sudden, Carl felt like he was pulled inside a world of dreams. A cold, unknown dimension. Not Somehow, self-control was slipping from his grasp. Shit's getting fucking creepy now, man. What the actual fuck is going on? Mysterious journal. In all appearances, this was a hunting log. Better yet, a war diary. What the fuck? That's so creepy. What could these engraved numbers mean? A fresh path suddenly appeared before Carl. Dude, this is actually really cool though. I love the mysteriousness of this game. Oh, wait. Here's a motherfucker. Wolves. Don't you dare kill the wolves, man. I love wolves. Wolves are my favorite animal. That's why I always just hate having to kill them in games. It's so bad. Oh, here's a car. Wait, what the fuck? Open it, idiot. Oh, it's Carl this guy. Had that feeling you get when you immerse your frozen hands in hot water. What happened? Now at least he knew who the unfortunate man petrified in ice was. 
Jill Lachance, Jill. the general store's manager himself. Jill Lachance. Okay, that's not fucking creepy at all then, is it? That had to be the worst parking job ever. Who was Carl to judge, though? It may be customary to park like that around these parts. Or not. Okay, now what? We're back at the general store. Ha! Huh. Shit's getting really fucking weird now, guys. Got a little save here as well. Thank you. Bring our heat up. Brings your brain up as well. Your mind. The heat is fucking with your mind, the cold even. So, maybe this generator does something, maybe not. See, there's a key in it. Oh, fix generator. I see. Generator's fixed. Turn the key. It's running. Okay, so that should restore power to the garage, right? On. Garage is on. Electricity turned off. Generate. Uh, yeah, electricity from generator. Now, the garage should be good to go. I don't know. Let's check it out. Check it out now. The bunk's so brother. Come on, this better turn on now. You better turn on now, you son of a bitch. Yes, it is. It's working. Okay, and the lift brings it up. But it then gets stuck. So let's see what we can do to... Yes, here's a flashlight. Bitches, what of it? Okay, nothing for now, it seems. So we'll leave that. I don't know if I'm missing something here, but... I'm, I certainly can't see it. We'll save it up here. Get our brain up, get our heat up. Save it up. And uh, get back in and maybe turn the power on to the general store. Let's see what's good with that. Okay. There we go. Now. Now we're talking. A nice picture of the Magasin La Chance store. Seemingly taken the day it was first opened. It feels frozen in time. From an era long forgotten. Well, that's what it is. Jumping from that height was akin to tempting death. Perhaps Jesus. that man on the snowmobile had seen enough of this world already. True. Amateur hunters showing some pride at having killed a nice pelted beast. With men like this roaming the area, wolves would become extinct within 10 years, Carl thought. That sucks. That sucks, man. A broken clock, how convenient. Okay, so now it's time to see... Shut the hell up. It's time to see if this damn phone works. No, still no. The pump too worked, though. Oh, so we can... We can use the pump to get gas in our car now, is it? And keep moving. Go to one of those addresses. Which is pump two? This one over here. Is it? I think. That should work. Are we restocked? Carl knew straight away where to find the infuriated Gilles Lachance. Any good investigation would have to start there. Wait, what? Why would we know where to find him? He's dead. 739. The number 739. Huh. Wait, let's try and see if there's anything with the number 739 around the place, huh? Oh, we got a ourselves a weapon. gun. What was that doing there, Carl wondered. Hamilton must have been determined to keep some information secret to post this key. Shame he got unlucky. Everything made sense now. Ooh. Poor Hamilton's denunciation was interrupted, and he figured it would be best to lock everything up and send the key to his correspondent, who would receive the box later on. Clever, but not enough. That's what happens to ordinary people playing spy. Oh, 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 oh. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So we're not done here yet, I would say. A milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottles. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. Okay. 
What now? What now? 739, guys. We need to figure out something with 739. Maybe it's something to do with his car. I'm not exactly sure. Don't know what we're supposed to do with that 739, guys. Maybe we're supposed to go somewhere else now. Drive somewhere else. Uh, but we'll figure that out in the next part, guys. If you guys did enjoy this and you want to see me figure out the mystery and find out what 739 is for, find out everything, find out who the murderer is, then, yeah, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys for more Kona, hopefully in the very near future. Peace out.